Okay, let's get started. Uh, this is the urinary system models. So, uh, this is the first model that we're going to do. Uh, right here. You should be very familiar with this. This is your abdominal aorta here, this big vessel here. Remember, this is your celiac trunk right there. Superior mesenteric artery. And then your inferior mesenteric artery. And then your gonadal arteries. And then your renal arteries here. And here. This big vessel here, uh, which is a bigger vessel than the abdominal aorta, slightly bigger. This is the vena cava, inferior vena cava. And we have the renal vein coming off of that, here, and here. Notice the left side here. Notice the left renal vein is longer than the right, as we see here. Also, we'll see some more veins here, such as the uh, lumbar veins and the gonadal veins, and of course the gonadal arteries as well. But anyway, uh, let's let's move on to the kidney here. So here's the kidney, and here's the kidney on your left side, and you'll notice that the kidney on the right side is going to hang down a little bit lower than the left side. That's because of where the liver is. Uh, so, uh, let's let's do this before we pull this uh, off here. Uh, this is the capsule here. This is your capsule, renal capsule. It's fibrous capsule uh, so renal capsule or fibrous capsule now we have the ureters here and here and then you can see on the male you can see the ur the ureters let me put that right there we can see you see that this is the male bladder, so you can see uh, the ureters here and here. This is the male bladder. Okay, I want to show you some things here. Uh, let's pull this off here. So, first of all, we have the cortex. Cortex is going to be this right here. Here's your cortex. Okay. Now, the medulla is going to be this right here. Okay. And we have the renal pelvis which is right here. So, cortex. And then you have your medulla and then the pelvis. And you can see at the hilum part, um, you can see where you have your renal artery and renal vein right there. Okay? Now, as well as the ureter right there. Okay. Let's see if there's anything else here. Alright. Uh, let's look at this right here. We have the male bladder. Let me zoom them out. So, right here, the male bladder, you have the detrusor muscle. Okay, the ureters here and here. Okay, now you have the trigone of the bladder, which is, let me get up in here, this triangle shaped area here. 
and then you have the bladder neck which is right in there and then the uteric orifices right there and right there that's where the ureters are coming in the uteric orifices that's where the ureters are coming in okay prostate gland is right here and this is the prostatic urethra and based on this right here you can sort of imagine uh, why hyperplasia of the prostate gland or enlargement of the prostate gland uh, can obstruct urine and cause a man to uh, strain when urinating and can cause many problems uh, with not being able to empty the bladder okay female okay uh, female shows if I can get it open basically the same thing that you've looked at before we can see right here and you see this or not well I'm going the wrong way yeah now so here is your bladder this is the uterus this is the ovary and that would be the fallopian tube that's review for you uh, this would be the vagina right here oh, the light is probably killing you I apologize right next to a window I apologize for that so right here is your vagina this is the urethra this is the bladder that would be the cervix right there okay right over here I want to show you this again uh, even though I don't have a picture of it uh, in your uh, notes for this uh, part of the uh, lab but you can uh, look from the unit one in and review if you don't know or forgotten right here is the bladder this is the urethra uh, this is the vagina this is the cervix this is the uterus and that's the fallopian tube and that's the ovary now a catheter is going to go up right here this is where a catheter is going to go yeah sorry about that right up through there okay now with a male you can see that you have the bladder here prostate right here urethra and the catheter is going to go up the urethra okay now let's move on to the next model this is sort of a review for you uh, so remember that you have the kidney right here this is the right kidney this is the adrenal gland or suprarenal gland now you'll see the suprarenal uh, artery and vein you have you have the uh, renal vein and renal artery you have the ureter right here all entering into this hilum area here this is the renal capsule here renal capsule or fibrous capsule okay let's take this off here and we have the cortex you should know where the cortex is all through here and then your medulla here and then your pelvis here okay 
And then we have the major calyx and minor calyx. I want to show you uh, those. So major, ca major calyx is right here. And the minor calyces are here, 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 here. Pyramid. I might have forgot to show you the pyramid on my other model here when we first started. So here's the pyramid here. Here, 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 here. And right here at the tip end, that's the papillae of the pyramid. In between the pyramids now you have your columns here, here. So in between the pyramids. And let me show you the first model that we did. Uh, to show you the pyramid. Right here is pyramid, right here is a pyramid, right here is a pyramid. So, major calyx, minor calyx. Okay. Uh, let's continue. Uh, we have this big long uh, model here and might be a while on this one. I'll try to make it as brief as possible. So, uh, we have the adrenal gland on top here. Uh, should be pretty obvious. So you have your adrenal cortex, medulla. You have your zona uh, glomerulosa, fasciculata, reticularis, medulla. Okay, so that should be pretty obvious. We have the fibrous capsule right here on the outside. You should know where the renal cortex is. And of course, the uh, renal columns in between the pyramids. So here's the pyramid here, 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 and here, and here. Those are all pyramids. Okay. Renal papillae. You see the number right here? At the, at the tip of your pyramid you have your papillae. Right here, right here, right here, right here. Hopefully you get the picture there. Okay, let's move on to the next thing here. We have the minor calyx number 11, as I've already showed you. Right here, right here, right here, right here. Major calyx, right here. Uh, this is the pelvis. So, uh, filtrate I'll point this out in lecture. Filtrate is going to go uh, from the collecting ducts and it's going to go into the minor calyces and, and then into the major calyx, calyx here. So minor calyces, major calyces, and then the pelvis, and then the ureter. Right here you see the renal artery and renal vein. Okay. Uh, let's see where we're at now. Uh, this thing right here is the adipose tissue and the renal sinus. Nephron. This is the functional unit of your kidneys. You have millions of nephrons. I repeat, you have millions of nephrons. Uh, that's, that's all these structures here. And I'll show you uh, those when we get there. Uh, this may be a little bit too small for you to see. You have it in your pictures uh, for you to look at. And I think they're all correct. Uh, but I'm, I'm just saying this is too small for you to see. You can see a little bit here, but... Um, you see these little green dots here? These are all uh, renal corpuscles. These little green dots here. These are all renal corpuscles. And we can see that uh, you have the um, collecting duct right here. Uh, which feeds into the minor calyx. So that's what's being shown there. 
Uh, you can see the collecting ducks and papillary ducks and that's going to be feeding into your minor calyx and that's going to go into your major calyx and then of course the uh, pelvis and then the ureter. So now let's move on to a bigger picture. Now I want to show you some things here. So right here this whole structure right here is a nephron. That whole structure is a nephron. So right here we see the green structures again. Those are renal corpuscles again. Those are renal corpuscles. Okay? Now uh, let's see, where's my place at? Proximal convoluted tubule. This right here. So you have your renal corpuscle right here. And then you have your proximal convoluted tubule. And you see it's going to be going down here, as we see here. Uh, so this is called the descending limb right here of the loop of Henley it's going down and it gets a little bit thinner uh, and that's called the thin segment there and then it goes up and that's called the ascending that's called the ascending uh, limb it goes up uh, and then we can see the uh, collecting tubule Number 21 right here. Right here. And then we can see number 22 here is the papillary duct. Okay. I forgot to show you these on the uh, previous model. But you have your arcuate artery right here. And the arcuate vein. Arcuate artery, red, and the vein. Let me show you that on the previous model. So arcuate artery arcuate vein. Okay? Let's see. Where are we going to now? Interlobular artery and vein. So, we have number 25. Ah, sorry about moving the camera away. Number 25 and number 26. Interlobular artery and vein. Here and here. Now, we have these vessels up in the cortex region. These are the cortical radiate arteries and veins, or interlobular artery, artery and uh, interlobular vein. So we can see right here, interlobular uh, artery and vein or just to avoid confusion just call them cortical radiant arteries and veins so arcuate artery arcuate vein and this is the inter lobar artery and inter and inter lobar vein those words inter lobar and interlobular are sort of confusing to say, and I might have got that wrong, but you know what I mean. Uh, so don't get those two mixed up. So remember, interlobar artery and vein. Interlobular artery and vein. Or just to avoid confusion, I just call them cortical radiate artery, cortical radiate vein. Okay, uh, let's see if there's anything else. Uh, this right here, uh, you know, straight arterioles and venules right in here. Okay, now our last stretch here, if my battery don't die. Um, we see 
You remember this right here? All these little green structures I'm telling you, I told you about? All these little green structures? That's, those are all renal corpuscles. Renal corpuscles here. All these green structures. Now, this is a blow up right here. Showing you a renal corpuscle. Uh, and this is going to mark the end of our journey here uh, at this particular model. So, uh, I want to go over some things here. So, this whole structure here is a renal corpuscle. Alright? I'll show you that the microscope lab. So, we have the glomerulus. Tuft of capillaries. Tuft of capillaries. Fenestrated. Remember when we talked about fenestrated capillaries in lecture? Porous capillaries have holes. Okay? So, here we have uh, the glomerulus. The glomerulus is a tuft of capillaries. So right here you have the afferent arteriole and efferent arteriole. This is going to uh, cause very high hydrostatic pressure which is going to uh, move the uh, fluids and solutes out uh, from the capillaries because this afferent arteriole is larger in diameter than the efferent arteriole so it's going to uh, produce a very high hydrostatic pressure and it's going to uh, push this fluid out into the uh, Bowman's capsule here. This is the Bowman's capsule or the glomerular capsule here. Notice that the cells associated with the Bowman's capsule or the glomerular capsule are simple squamous, as I'll point out in lecture and lab uh, histology, when we do the histology. So here is the Bowman's capsule uh, and it's also called the glomerular capsule and you have your simple squamous epithelium. I forgot to mention this um, fuzzy looking stuff here podocytes podocyte podocytes here and we'll talk about those in lecture. Uh, let's see what else. This right here is the distal, sorry, proximal convoluted tubule. This one is the distal convoluted tubule. So, proximal convoluted tubule here, just like you have right here. Just like you have right here. So, this is the proximal convoluted tubule. This is the proximal convoluted tubule. This is the distal convoluted tubule. And let's see if there's anything else I need to touch bases on. Um, let's see. We have the macula densa, number 37 right there. And let's see what else. Juncta glomerular cells right here. And I think that's it. My battery didn't die. I'm making sure it's it. Okay. I think we're good.